we finally found uh, a biomarker that appears to detect at least a fraction of those patients we'd miss with CA125 and also detected at an earlier stage than we can with CA125 alone. And that's the autoantibodies against uh, P53. Uh, P53 is mutated and consequently often overexpressed uh, in a, more than half of ovarian cancers and in virtually all of the high-grade serous ovarian cancers. Uh, and we found that about 25% of patients at the time of conventional diagnosis, either with early stage or late stage cancers, will have autoantibodies. Other people have found that before, but what's different about our study is that using this blood samples from the UK CTOX trial in the UK, we can actually go back and ask, was, were these antibodies elevated prior to the detection of the cancer or prior to the elevation of CA125? We found that about 25% uh, of those patients in the UK trial will have elevated autoantibodies, whether the CA125 is positive or negative. And also we can detect uh, the cancer, or could detect potentially the cancer, anywhere from 13 to 33 months before the elevation of CA125 or the detection of cancer in patients who are CA125 negative. Hopefully when that could be applied prospectively, we might be able to detect the to cancer at a much early stage, at least in that fraction of patients. Currently, we're looking at other antibodies. We've got about um, 200 other candidates that I, whether any of them will be as good as uh, the anti-P53 autoantibodies, we don't know, but that's what our work's about.